Today I'll show you how to get amazing freshly baked bread right out of your freezer. Well, <laughs> almost, but it's still pretty cool. Hi, I'm Soon and I'm a food geek. Par baking, it's commonly used in commercial environments. In Denmark, Bake Off has become the word of the day in later years. Supermarkets, gas stations and 7-Elevens all do it. I don't know, they don't have a bakery in the back, so they get all their baked goods in frozen form and finish baking it in the store. The results are good, certainly on par with many bakery shops. Of course, nowhere near what you get from the good bakeries, but that's another story. It's relatively underutilized in the home kitchen, so why is that? I would guess is that mo pe most people just don't know how to do it, but it's not hard when you know how. But wouldn't it be great to put in the work on a day where you have the time, say on the weekend, but then you can reap the benefits on another day when you absolutely do not have the time. The base idea is that you bake for about 75% of the time that your recipe states, cool the bread, and then freeze it. When you want to bake, you can brown the frozen bread or thaw it first and then brown it as you like. The bread will taste as if you finished it on the day where you made the dough. It's that simple. I hope you learned something today. See you next. Oh, oh, so you'd like to know the details. <laughs> All right, I made a bit more material for you to watch. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider joining my Patreon. You can also buy some merch, use the super thanks, or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Those were the words. This is the technique. There's a link in the description to the article on my website. So I know a lot of people will ask, so I'll show you how to make the dough for baking this bread. If you don't care about the recipe, you can skip ahead to the baking at the timestamp on the screen. To a medium bowl, add 560 grams of bread flour, 140 grams of whole grain flour, I'm using dark rye, 14 grams of salt. Mix it with your hands. Then add 140 grams of sourdough starter fed and grown to its peak. 546 grams of water. The loaf is 80% hydration, which is relatively high. Try with less water first. Use the consistency of the dough in the video as a guide. Mix the dough so that all of your flour is hydrated. Then let the dough rest covered for an hour. Then perform three sets of stretch and folds spaced out by 30 minutes. Once you've finished the stretch and folds, move the dough to a proofing container. Level the top. And mark where the top of the dough is and where your target rises. If you're proofing warm, your target should be 25%. If you're proofing at room temperature, it should be 50%. Once the dough is grown, divide it into two equally sized pieces. Using your scraper, pre-shape both doughs into balls.
Let the balls rest for 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I know. Then shape both loaves into batards or boules if you like those. I like batards more, more evenly sized slices. After you've shaped the loaves, put them into bannetons. And then put them in the fridge to retard for at least 8 hours or up to 48 hours. No, I don't cover them. <laughs> Alright, and now it's time for the baking. We can still use two-stage baking here, although we will remove the loaf early in the browning stage. Heat your oven to 230 degrees Celsius, 450 degrees Fahrenheit, with a Dutch oven inside. Grab a loaf from the fridge, dust the bottom with rice flour to help the loaf slide easily off the peel. Flip the loaf onto the peel. Score it. Then add it to the Dutch oven and bake for 20 minutes. Then prepare the second loaf. Move the first loaf out of the Dutch oven to the side. Add the second loaf to the Dutch oven and put on the lid. Bake for 10 minutes, then remove the first loaf from the oven. After 10 more minutes, remove the top of the Dutch oven and finish the second loaf with 10 more minutes. If you prefer a lighter crust, you can bake with the lid on for 30 minutes for each loaf instead of this method. Take the second loaf out and let them both come to room temperature. Then freeze each loaf in a Ziploc bag for up to three months. One eternity later. Okay, so three months have passed. Now how do we make these into freshly baked loaves? There are two ways you can prepare the bread. One is to thaw the bread in the fridge overnight. The other is to bake the loaf directly from the freezer. If you need a freshly baked loaf right out of the oven, you should thaw it. If you need newly baked bread later that day, just bake it frozen. I'll show you how to bake the frozen loaf first. Heat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the oven is hot, add the frozen bread and let it heat for 10 minutes. We just want the bread to thaw a little. Then heat the oven to 230 degrees Celsius, 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Brown the bread to your liking. I like mine dark, so I bake it for about 20 minutes. Then take out the bread. Beware, the center of the bread is still frozen or at least very cold. Leave it to come up to temperature or extend the thawing phase in the oven to 30 minutes if you need it faster. Then let's prepare the thawed loaf. Heat your oven to 230 degrees Celsius, 450 degrees Fahrenheit. My oven is already hot, but you will need to heat yours. Then add the loaf and bake until it's to your liking. I also browned this one for 20 minutes. Then take it out of the oven. You can serve it right away. You already did the necessary cooling before you froze the loaf. That's it. That's how you par bake bread. <laughs> okay, so you probably thought I forgot about the gratuitous crumb shot, but no, I didn't. Here you go. It really is that simple. I've tasted these side by side with freshly baked bread and there's no difference in taste or texture. The crust is as crunchy, the crumb as soft or chewy as it's supposed to be. This technique will put flexibility and agility into your baking. You don't have to scramble and get up at five to make excellent bread. 
you can do the hard work another day. What's not to love? I hope you learned something today. See you next time. Cool.